What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to Maps Exposed. This is the series where I share all of my lines of sight, as well as any other secret spots that I know of on every map in COD World War II. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the first of the Resistance DLC 1 maps, and this is Valkyrie. First up, we're going to start it off with the Sea Domination flag here. There is a machine gun on the Sea Domination flag, and if you're approaching from this side of the map, there's no real way to challenge it while also having cover. Either way you go, you're going to be exposing your whole body. So one way to challenge them is actually come up behind this barrel here, Hop up on top, and there you go. You'll be able to see him just fine. He will see your head, but he often won't be ready for it, and you'll have time to pick him off. Now, if you're coming from the other side of the map and you want to challenge that same machine gun, you can kind of challenge it from here, but that's what he expects. A lot of times what you can do is actually just dolphin dive into this area right here, and if you crawl up between these barrels, you can actually see through and shoot through these barrels right here through this crack, and you can pick them off no problem. There is no way they're going to see you there. They might see you cross into there, but most of the time they'll just stop shooting and it'll give you plenty of time to pick them off. Now getting into this area right here, there's a little bit of a window up here. This can be used to throw your nades through and there's enemies that will often pass through that area. You can pick them off with your nades. But more importantly, and a much cooler spot for snipers at least, is if you come right here and you jump, you'll actually be seeing a very common spot. I'll just show it to you guys real quick here. You'll actually be seeing the people that are camping up on that spot there, which is a pretty big power position to lock down the middle of the map. So you can actually pick off a jump shot through there and kill the guys that are on that position. They'll have no idea what hit them. Now, as we push up towards the middle of the map here, one thing I want to point out, and this is actually a very handy thing to know about, is you can actually jump right here and mantle onto this area like this. You can crouch and you're hidden, stand up, and you got a great line of sight over towards the A flag. You can also do this if people are in the bunker. You can approach it from this direction and do the same thing right there. Now, if your team is spawning on the A side of the map and you know somebody is sitting in this position right here and just kind of locking people down as they come out of spawn, a great way to challenge them as you come out of these A spawns here is actually really simple. All you have to do is jump up on top of these boxes right here, and there you go. You get a nice clean line of sight between these trucks, and you'll be able to pick them off there, no problem. Now, another really common place for enemies to be in a big power position is that area right there where all that wood is. A lot of times you got people sitting there, and a great way to challenge them is if you can make it up to this truck here, uh, you're completely safe, and you just kind of strafe your way around, and there you go. Great line of sight, especially if you have a sniper rifle, or something that's just super accurate. You can easily pick them off through there, and they'll practically not be able to see you at all if they're really paying attention and they're like scoped in in that area. That's the only way they'll ever see your head. Now, if you happen to be playing Domination and you want to capture the A-Flag, of course you can capture it on this side, but just as an alternative, you can actually capture it just by going prone right in the corner here, and this is just a little bit less expected if you have people that happen to be on that side of the map. And with that, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the map Valkyrie. I know it was a super quick video, not a ton of spots to show you guys, but those are all the spots I was able to find. I'd like to know in the comment section below, first off, what do you guys think of this map so far? And second, which one of the DLC 1 maps would you like me to cover next? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.